season has been very tough, as you know, the whole country is pretty well stricken with, with dry times, but uh, we're very pleased with the result. Um, you know, return clients, but also a lot of new people, um, obviously recognising the type of cattle we're breeding, and um, yeah, it was a very positive result. So 63 Angus bulls, um, at only a top of 22,000, um, and you still maintain an average of 8, 158, it's a bloody good result. Yes, yeah, yeah, obviously we're targeting the, the commercial producer in Queensland and New South Wales and that's, that's where our main support was this time, so yeah, and that's really our marketplace is, is the commercial fellow, we're being commercially focused bulls and uh, if, if we can get those, our bulls out into as much you know, many commercial producers as we can, we're, we're very happy. And tell me a bit about the um, you know the top price bull bought by Cascade. Yeah, he's a, a younger bull, as, as you know, um, he's by our, our sire Ascot Hallmark. Um, who's breeding very well for us and yeah, he's a bull that's, because he's a bit younger, he's been under the radar a little bit and uh, obviously the, the sub that bought him could see see through what he could be sort of things. Yeah, they'll do sports. really well with him too. Yes, I'm sure they will, uh, he's, he's a nice bull. The <coughs> sale average of 7750 for the Charolais, um, a great result for the Charolais and a lot of strong commercial support. Yeah, once again mainly mainly commercial support. I was, I was actually very happy with the Charolais result. Um, I think a few of the people are starting to see what our breeding program is about. You know, the pole Charolais still got plenty of um, grunt, for want of a better word. Yeah. And um, yeah, the people are starting to appreciate what we're doing, I think. And just tell me a bit about the uh, top price bull of $24,000. Yes, well, he was a bull that I've had on my radar since a calf sort of thing. He's, you know, he's a red factor, but he's just got, got plenty of presence about him. His home was Igus Pole. He had the highest EMA, one of the highest fat covers, one of the highest um, IMF, so he had all the good carcass data as well as being a stud side look about him. Well, Jim, um, I hope you get some rain soon. I heard it's um, raining in Alice Springs at the moment. Yeah, so. yeah, no, I think yeah. it looks, the outlook's pretty positive. Really. I'm not concerned really too much about the weather. I think uh, next few months is going to see a complete turnaround. So, yeah, no, I think just um, wish everyone the best for that they do get rain and, and really, yeah, just like to finish off by thanking all the buyers and supporters of our, of our sale. It's, it's really humbling to, to, to see, actually, yeah. yeah and thanks for your support too, man. Good on you, mate. Pleasure. See you.